hi guys so today i want to talk about this uh, video like very dark man welcome to the channel welcome to my page please subscribe if you have not subscribed or please follow if you have not followed so let us talk about very dark man so apparently yesterday we the news was all over the place that very dark man has been arrested you get and throughout the week very dark man has been having issues with the risky you get it all started with very uh, with a, a a gay guy who went on a podcast and was talking about how he started um sleeping with men at the age of 10 blah 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 and all that and then very dark man took it upon himself to you know blast the guys and in the process he actually said that the person that even should they should arrest first because he said in the comment section people were saying that they should arrest the guy and it was like the person that they should arrest first is Bobby risky because Bobby risky is leading people astray and all that and all that and he actually brought Bobby risky and Bobby risky did not find it funny he was like if you want to talk to that guy talk to that guy do not bring me into that conversation you get and that was where the ambas both started, they started dragging each other, dragging each other. But where very dark man actually lost it was when he boldly said that Bobby Whiskey was being pimped or is pimping boys to the lawmakers, to senators, to police DIGs, to DIGs. He was just saying that and he put it to us like boldly. If you've not watched that video, please go on Instagram. It's there, plastered on his page that um, Bobby Whiskey is sleeping with senators, sleeping with police DIG and all that. That is why they don't have the guts to actually um, arrest him. And that was where I was like, this guy has lost it completely. Like, how do you embarrass the whole nation? How do you embarrass the whole our lawmakers? has like that like even if nigeria is that bad do you have to just say things the way he said it he said it like he was big he, he began you see the whole thing that i have to say is that vdm lost it months back you know when vdm came out with the whole now that thing he started with a um, cream cream that lack now that, that number all this organic that destroying people's skin we were hailing him we were cheering him on people were hailing him people were cheering him on you know why because he was on the right on the right track a lot of people begin to notice him even um, now that everybody noticed him Oh, home and abroad we know that we noticed him people liked him a lot of people were cheering him and happy for him you get and and supporting him so at some point he started losing it when he got himself involved in the whole mobile situation and he was he, he was losing it completely completely vdm started putting his mouth in everything in every conversation in every situation and trust me for him to go they are going what is going right vdm is going left do you understand he was just going saying things out of point and this brings me to the point of saying i feel like fame is one thing that a lot of people like will not be able to handle because it got into his head vdm got fame and that fame got into his head it sunk into his head and he began to feel like he's on top of the world and with the fact that he's chilling with the likes of davido and he's now best friend with tunde and not he now felt like he's untouchable like nothing can happen to him nobody can do him anything he's highly connected you forget that the nigerians that put you up there can still bring you down nigerians can flip at any point in time you know people that are cheering you on people that are there even the people that you use gave hope they will not be there when you don't be shame because they have their brand they have their reputation to protect so it's not everybody that will still be there sinking head with you completely when you get into issues like this so when he came out and made that statement i was accusing the lawmakers are using the police DIG, the DIG that oh they are sleeping with transgenders, they are gays, they are this, they are that. I was like, this is a very strong allegation because he said it authoritatively. He said it like I don't give a shit about you. You cannot arrest me because what I am saying is fact. And I'm like, hope you have your facts right. Hope you have your evidence because this is a strong allegation. And then it wasn't up to a day or so. He actually came out to apologize and he apologized to for saying such statement. Maybe because people has, have called him and are, are like. This thing when you just talk now, you fuck up. You're not supposed to talk and video when you talk up. But I feel like when fame gets into your head, you do not know how to handle things. You do not know where to draw the line. You do not know where to stop, how to say things, when to say things. You know, it, it, it just didn't make sense. You know, a lot of people are still cheering him on, even when he was good doing things that are wrong, even when he was, he was saying things that are wrong. Because, in fact, to be really honest, video was beginning to look like he was against women. Because everything that has to do with the woman, he's always against the, the woman. He is always, always against the woman he gets. So, when you feel like everybody are cheering you on, trust me, those people that are cheering you on, they will not be there. He forgot that they will not be there when it happened, just like it has happened now. Because the, the rumor has it that Toto DK was the one that actually arrested vdm for defamation of character and threats to life because he when he when she arrested him some weeks back when he came out he started emphasizing and saying it authoritatively that he put it to us that Toto dk there was one running just lover block you understand and then according to the story Toto dk said because of that people are beginning to threaten her because of the damage that blogger has actually caused to so many people and she's not safe anymore so she arrested him Toto dk now arrested vdm 
on a Friday, and we all know that if you're being arrested on a Friday, you cannot be billed till on Monday. In fact, before they start talking about your bill or anything that has to do with bill, it will be till on Monday. So I felt like she sat down and strategically planned how to arrest her, he went to arrest him so that whenever his iron mighty connection will come, before they come, it's already past the time of bailing and he must spend at least one to two days in Kirikiri and that's been what has happened. So I felt like this arrest now might just metamorphose into something so much, even, even though I feel like maybe if he comes out, he will retrace his step. But what really prompted me to start making this video was when Tunde now said that one thing he knows about it is that when somebody, when they arrest somebody, when the person come out, he will come popular so much. Now that popularity, gong, 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 now they shot video in for it. Now that popularity, now that hailing, now that cheering on, now that, because Tunde Eno most likely post all of Vivian's video, whether it's triggering, whether it's right or wrong. The only videos he has not posted was the videos between for Risky and the video of a guy, you get? But Tunde Edmonds has been back to back to back to back to back, reposting every video that he actually made. Do you understand? So now he's saying that if VDM comes out, he'll be very popular. But my advice to you, the VDM, please, if you get to see this video, if at all you ever see the video, or anybody that is ever close to that guy, please tell him he has derailed completely, like completely derailed. He was a guy that was loved, that was carried, like people, you see the way, in less than two months, he got over a million followers on Instagram. You know, easy to build Instagram followership. That's to show that people liked what he was doing. People were following him on a back to back to back to back to back. It got into his head and he felt that, ah, nothing if it happened to me, nobody if it touched me, I, I'm on the right track, people they heal me, people they support me, people they do this, but I put it to you that, guy, you don't lose track. You don't lose track. Not be everything you put smart. It's not everything. You don't have to get yourself involved in every conversation, in everything. And you don't have to be controversial to gain this traffic. Because now you have ended up stepping on so many toes. Stepping on so many toes and you're beginning to gradually lose relevance, lose respect. Not gradually. Drastically lose relevance and respect. Because Tell me why people that were so much in support of this guy, people who were hailing him, like a lot of people were on his side, and then this arrest or this issue that was going on between Bob and this guy, almost 90% of the crowd is on the side of Bob Risky. Make it make sense. Like, tell me why. That's to show that people don't wait for opportunity to make you fuck up. People don't wait for opportunity to make person deal with you because you're busy stepping on people's toes, people's toes, feeling like you're untouchable. You cannot be rich. You cannot be dealt with. You have your connections high up there. Don't forget that the people when you use get hope, say they get connection when they will help you. They also have their reputation to protect, and they might not come through as much as you are expecting them to come through. That is just my two cents. Video retrace your steps if it's possible because you've lost it completely. Because I don't understand why the is becoming so much. Please retrace your steps. Thank you so very much for guys for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.